would change my family. Would it affect us? Would it kill us? On to our next story. In Shibashe, the ferocious weather has caused the eldest tree to impale and fall onto the footpath. It has blocked off any access and locals are distraught. The tree meant much more to them than it seems. Good evening from Shibashe. We pay our condolences for those pedestrians who often take out the safe route of the pathway. We have some very bad and upsetting news from the pathway. The tree, the oldest in Shimiche, has fallen, causing us to imperish. One must now walk upon the road to get to their destination rather than the safe route of the pathway. The tree has affected the whole of the community and our hearts will always be with its family. We are very sorry to announce that the pathway is beyond repair. It will never be walked on again. And that poor tree, who has been in our hearts forever, is now lost. And all, we, all that remains is our memories. Peace on, tree. <laughs> Over to you, Samantha. Thank you, Helen. Good evening. The young reformer has caused destruction to the young town of heritage. It published a horrific interview. On page 20, there is a column where Laura Critchley, a singer songwriter, provides advice. The magazine published, When the chips are down, believe in yourself. This has caused an epidemic and there is an increased case of obesity. 32 young people have acquired an eating disorder since the magazine was published this morning. The number is expected to rise dramatically. Thank you, Samantha. I'm in Wogan with psychiatrist Dr. Arnold Benjamin, who specializes in eating disorders. Doctor? Yes, um, I have been acting very strangely. Oh my <laughs> she has been making some sleeping statements uh, which are very difficult for the young mind to digest. This has increased the obesity in 32 children's money of tender beefs and numbers are estimated to rise by 90%. Thank you. Over, over to you in the studio, Helen and Samantha. That's all for tonight. See you next time. Hang on, we have just been given some breaking news from Wednesday Jail. Over to our correspondent there. at this very moment in time. <laughs> We're frankly frightened for him. I thought 
thought these hot dog men were only in my dreams, but this is more like a nightmare. <laughs>